Okay, it's time for another 3ds Max tutorial and one thing I know is that I made a tutorial like this one already but some people didn't understand it and well this one is going to cover two key things and the first one is organization and the second one is the import the way you import 3ds Max material libraries which come as .mit files and first of all you need a material library often people share material libraries and if you're sharing a material library the first thing you have to make sure is that all the assets are there because you can send someone your 110 kilobyte material library and not share the assets and if he doesn't have the assets all the diffuse, specular and bunk maps then the person cannot do anything with them anyways before I made this I took the liberty of downloading this one and organizing, in a fo organizing it inside a folder and anyways this is my material folder and it has a lot of assets and I put the old brass material in a folder and named the folder old brass simple enough I don't know where it went anyways here's the old brass and so we'll import it into 3ds max and before I go any further this is a very good website theory-materials.de and you can download and share your materials now to the import press M to bring up your material editor if you don't see what I see yours is probably the slate material editor and anyways just change it to compact material editor it doesn't matter press G which will bring this up it looks like this but it is not the same this one gives you full control of your material libraries and the first thing you're going to do is open a material library so I'm going to open this material library brought from vray-materials.de I'm not associated with that website in any form then double click it to bring it into your material editor and now you have to specify to 3ds max the location of all the assets and it has three that are used fall off you can't give you can't put a material in fall off you can't put anything in this one either because it's the same as this one but you can specify a map to be used by a by a bunk map which is created by a mix I am uh, I'm guessing it has a map that you need to give it in here so anyways it needs this file old underscore copper underscore bump dot jpeg and it thinks it's at Dennis Hawk but we're not the guy who created it so just navigate to your material folder where you have your where you have your material library assets so I'm going to tell it where the file that it's looking for is then I'm going to go to the sub level and tell it where the other one is and those are the two that it needed there I believe yes next I'm going to go to the other one the next one is steel and yep specify again where the material is or the map is it 
the reason for the delay is because of the conversion between higher resolution to lower 1280 by 720 a lot of writing operations as I record this the final one is blendmass.jpg and well if you download a material library from somewhere make sure you have all the assets because if you don't the materials will not look like you expect them to now that I finished telling 3ds max where all the materials are I'm going to go to material and put to library and from here I'm going to send it to my V-Ray material library after I click it's going to send it to the material library you specify and if you don't have one you can quickly create a new material library just make sure you put it somewhere useful where it's protected from deletion or random yeah just where it's protected from deletion where's my documents folder anyways I'm going to just save your material library wherever it's protected from deletion and for the next part of the tutorial which is organization I'm going to create a material library and name it concrete this one is going to hold all my concrete materials I'll hit save now and now if you have a large material library that needs to get organized once you create a new material library you can quickly drag all your materials here so start finding all your material just click and drag from your old one to your new one they won't be removed from your old one they will just be copied to the new one but there's nothing wrong with that you can remove them yourself and just for the purpose of illustration I'm going to show you the end result so let's create a new group and name it whatever you want I'm going to name my video material library and now I'm going to drag this header and put it under V-Ray material library and now I can create a new material library and this one I'm going to name it wood and it'll hold all my wood materials I won't put that one because it's technically flooring it's simple as click and drag now I'm going to grab this header and put it in under my V-Ray material library group and that's the basic organization process that you can use to turn this into this and it's what Autodesk did you can't see Autodesk materials right now but I do have them anyways that's what Autodesk did to organize their material libraries I hope you learned something, post any questions or comments or suggestions of what I should teach you about and I'm going to start making these in Spanish too but the Spanish will be separated so don't worry about that have a nice day